So let's consider the following ODE. dy dx equals y minus x all over y plus x. And we want to find the unknown function y for x greater than zero. How do we do it? Well, when you see an ODE, a first order ODE, uh, the first step is to classify what kind of ODE you're dealing with. And the reason behind this is that depending on the different type, uh, a different solution method's required. If you look at this one, well, it's not separable and it's not linear. So it actually turns out that this is a so-called homogeneous first order ODE. So how do we determine that? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide the right hand side, top and bottom, by x. All right, you now see that the right hand side is in the following form. It's a function of y on x. When this uh, characteristic is satisfied, we call the ODE homogeneous. Okay, so how do we solve a homogeneous equation? Well, it relies on a substitution, and in particular, we assume the solution y is in the following form. It's x times some other function, v of x. And what we do is we calculate v, and then just multiply through by x to get y. Right, so our objective here is to determine v. So how do we do that? Well, we want to set up a new differential equation involving v. We're going to do that in two ways. We're going to use our original ODE, and we're going to use this particular substitution. All right. So, if y equals x times v, v equals y on x. So I'm going to go back here and substitute v for y on x. Okay. And secondly, I'm going to differentiate both sides of this particular uh, format here. Now to do that, to find dy dx, I need to use the product rule here. So if I differentiate here, I get dy dx. If I differentiate here, I'm going to get x times dv dx plus v. So, now I have a new differential equation, which I'm going to rearrange, involving v. So I want to solve that. So let's rearrange this. So if I take this v to the other side and put it all over one denominator, I get the following. Okay, so if you look closely now, this is just a separable differential equation. So how do I solve it? I separate the variables and integrate. And this is common where homogeneous problems um, occur. You make the substitution, form a new differential equation, and the differential equation is separable. All right, so we separate the variables and integrate. Okay, so I bring the v plus 1 up here, the v squared minus 1 down there, the dx and the x. Okay, 
So I'm going to integrate here, I'm going to break this up into two terms and integrate with respect to V. And I'm going to integrate here as well. Alright, so over here, if I uh, just look at the first term, my integral is going to be a half log V squared plus 1. My second term is going to be integral 1 on b squared plus 1, tan inverse. Over here, I'm going to get negative log x. Now, because we're only interested in x greater than 0, I really don't need this absolute value sign here. Okay, well, our solution here is an implicit form. What we want to do now is to switch these v's back to x's and y's. So, essentially, we can replace v with y on x. Now you can clean this up a bit, this is in, a, in what's called implicit form, in other words we haven't made y the subject, in particular you can clean this up and get this to cancel with the minus log absolute value x. Okay, so um, this is about as far as we can go, a little bit of cleaning up needed perhaps, but um, this is sufficient to, uh, to solve that problem.